I am Carolina Milanesi. I am attending a conference this week that is very dear to me, which is the Net Inclusion Conference in Philadelphia. We've been talking about technology and inclusion and really making sure that it's not just about connectivity and devices, but it's about skill set and familiarity with the technology that we use. And with me today, I have Canon. Can you tell me about Tomas, who's yeah. the gentleman in our background? Oh, yeah, great. Thank you for the opportunity. Tomas is what we call a digital human, and it's using conversational AI or generative AI. And we built him purposely to help students develop soft skills. We want, at least in the interactions for the soft skill development or interacting with it, where you feel comfortable interacting with the AI, but you know it's not a real person. You have some level of comfort where you can make mistakes with it, you feel comfortable, trust it, to get to a base of where you have a base level of skill sets. This hopefully is a gateway to get that confidence built. I think there's a lot on people's mind about how AI can be a level setter and really helping empowering people to do more, but could also widen yes. the digital divide yeah. if we are not doing it responsibly. Yeah, that's right. It's a tool. And so we're hopeful that with the right precautions and approach, if you can find ways to deploy it, you can almost leapfrog the digital divide. It's a new uh, tool and we want to put our technology portfolio and expertise behind it to drive those positive outcomes.